Welcome to my crafting corner. Hey, uh, fellas, it's Raptor Jesus here, and I thought I'd give a showcase to one of my favorite terrain crafters on YouTube, uh, Mel the Terrain Tutor. Uh, he taught me a lot of stuff, and this is one of the things he taught me here is uh, these uh, urban boards. Uh, sorry, not a very good paint job. This is one of my early, early paints where I thought everything should be really dark and black. <laughs> but I have a, a couple of these boards they are really cool and I made them all apocalypse style uh, I like to play apocalypse games usually when I do war gaming but despite how these things look he actually uh, has a really good advice on how to put these together it's really simple too just MDF and foam core and whatever extras you want to add to it you know what I mean And this is another thing uh, I learned from the terrain tutor. Here is this uh, snowy covered uh, ground. Oh, there we go. Sorry, I had to zoom my camera out. It's a. Uh, I made this uh, snow covered battle mat. A really simple method, just using. You know, acrylic caulking and, and paint and, and stuff and canvas as a backing which is pretty cheap I have a whole bunch of canvas now and I also have this uh, kind of cobblestone ground mat I have a lot more mats I've made uh, I use his methods all the time but uh, I always forget uh, where I put it all <laughs> I got a lot of stuff, so a lot of it's in storage. Yeah, it's all rolled up because it hasn't been rolled out for a while. But once you start putting buildings on, it's not too bad. And these things, uh, is another thing that Mel taught me is uh, how to make garbage bags. I know, right? You got to learn how to make miniature garbage bags. <laughs> and these dungeon tiles are actually very important because he's the one that got me onto the Hearst Arts molds I used. Uh, to make them. I was trying to make some rock faces and then I found these when I was looking at their site and just bought them all up. He also introduced uh, the Sarissa Pre Precision's MDF kits which I really love. I've got a, a few of them. And that uh, shipping container there, that's another thing I learned from Mel. And also to use like fish tank uh, vegetation. Uh, a lot of the stuff I learned how to do for terrain crafting, I learned from Mal and a few others like DM Scotty and Wylock's Terrain, of course. And I'm more of these Sarissa Precision buildings, which I really love. They're actually a, have the interiors inside, but I've never really messed with them. I've always meant to make rooms for them. And I also got uh, that tree there. That's another thing that I learned from the terrain tutor and those bushes. And uh, these ruins was like the I think the first thing I might have learned is this uh how to make was this gray building right here, foam core ruins, a uh, really simple tutorial. And that tree's a, a wireframe tree, not as good as Mel's because I just uh, I stuffed a bunch of just like different pieces of cardboard in it and then twisted the wires around with power drill and a pair of pliers and then flocked it up and I learned these uh, bushes here are actually steel wool uh, for the core more close-ups of these Sarissa precision buildings I really like uh, these ones are my favorite uh, kind of like buildings to lay out though I slightly ruined them because I made them all apocalypse style uh, it's just a it's just a bad neighborhood you know what I mean it's <laughs> <clears throat> trying to zoom in on the, the puddles there because that's another thing I learned had learned from Mal is just using hot glue instead of the old fancy resin that you get and this is actually a, a s expanding foam hills more Sarissa buildings you know I always got to show those off because I think they're really nice. It's the first MDF stuff I ever worked with. I 
I don't know. I just learned a lot from old Mel. Uh, it's been really useful to expanding my crafting skills. So I'm going to put a link down in the comments down below. So I think you guys should check them out. Uh, another thing he taught me too, which has also been extremely useful, is how to store your terrain. And I got a bunch of these like uh, Tupperware tubs. You wouldn't think uh, all this stuff that I learned from when I was pulling all this stuff out. Uh, he's been really handy to my crafting career. So I hope you fellows have a good Father's Day and keep your shield and arm strong, alright? And don't become a materials hoarder like I am. Look at this mess. Boy, boy. <laughs> I got lots of crafting to do, as you guys can see. Have a happy Father's Day, everyone, all right? Keep strong. All right, I guess that's the rest of the video, fellas. If you have any questions, please comment down below. I hope you liked my video. If you want to see more of this stuff, please uh, subscribe. I hope you guys uh, have a good game next time you play, and keep your shield arm strong, all right?